Hey there guys, Zach here for Windows Central and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at Windows 10 build 18237. This is one of the first 19H1 builds that Microsoft has released. So yes, we're now in a new development cycle. We are done with Redstone 5. We are now testing the next Windows 10 feature update coming in the spring of 2019. So diving straight in, the first noteworthy change in this build is with some of the built-in apps. Sticky Notes, for example, has been updated with an entire new design and new feature set. So if you open up Sticky Notes here, you'll see that in the middle here, we now have a sort of hub area and this stores all of your notes. So if we write a note down here, like remember to get eggs, you'll see that it saves into the hub here and I can even close this and it will be remembered here as well. What's more, these also sync across your devices. So if you're signed in with a Microsoft account and have multiple Windows 10 devices, you can actually save your notes across different devices and get back to them with ease no matter what device you're using. So if I open up sticky notes on another PC, I will see this sticky note right here, which is pretty nice. So we also have more format options as well. If we highlight some text here, we can make it bold or underline it, which looks pretty cool. And there's also uh, a new color, which is dark. So if you're into dark mode, you can now have dark mode sticky notes as well. Then we can also add new ones and we can go from there as well. These also support inking, although um, I don't have a pen with this device, so I can't show you that. Otherwise, they all work pretty well. And as you see there, they're syncing across devices right now. And I can close these and get back to them at a later date just like that, which is fairly nice. Moving right along, the next noteworthy change in this build is with Snip and Sketch, which used to be called Screen Sketch. Uh, they've changed the name of it now to Snip and Sketch. And um, the only noteworthy change to this here is you can now uh, delay the time it takes to take a snip. So if you're trying to get like a context menu or something, you can set it to snip in three seconds. So I can do three, two, one, and have time to uh, right click on that to take the screenshot. And then there's also a 10 second delay as well if you really need to do lots of different things. Quick, let's open up File Explorer and do it. And then let's put them side by side. And I should be in time for the snip. There it is. <laughs> so uh, that's that. So if you're a fan of delaying snips, you can now do that with the new modern snip and sketch experience. The old one is still here, I believe. Uh, let's quickly check that snipping. Yep, it's still here. Microsoft hasn't removed it. But there is a... Are you not going to launch? Yeah, there is there is a, a warning saying, hey, this is the old one, try the new one. So the last noteworthy change in this build is with the login screen. Now Microsoft is slowly but surely adding fluent design effects to every part of the window shell. And now Microsoft is adding it to the lock screen. So if we hit the enter key here, you'll see that the wallpaper blurs into the background using the acrylic blur effect. And it looks pretty nice. This works with any wallpaper you're using, whether it's a custom one or the window spotlight feature. So if we jump into settings here, I can actually change the wallpaper for you just to show you that is the case. Uh, this is Windows Spotlight, it's interesting. Let's use this one, yep, let's try it again. And it blurs just like that. I think it looks really quite nice. So that's pretty much it for this build. So far, not much is in these builds because this is the very beginning of 19H1's development cycle. Uh, over the next few weeks and months, we should expect to see more features and, and enhancements added to these builds, including the return of sets, hopefully. That's not confirmed. It's just something that we're hoping will show up at some point. But until then, thanks so much for watching and I shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye.